This is all you need to make all these rockets. We're going to go over how to quickly make a rocket of your choosing using these simple materials. Hello everyone, I'm going to build a rocket from these materials here, quickly. So watch this. So first I'm going to take some tape and attach it to this paper. And like so. Flip it over. Take a little craft glue. And this is the part that's a little time consuming because you have to uh, let the glue dry. But the tape will hold it in place while it's doing that. So I make a little bead of glue. Now you can either roll it around two rocket engines or, in my case, I've made some custom pieces because I make a lot of rockets with copper pipe and, and tape just the right diameter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and roll, roll the tube like so. And you can smear that glue if you'd like with your fingers and the tape holds in place just like that and I pop out the the, uh, the tube that I use as a form, like so, and when this dries, I'll glue in the rocket engine like that. I'll put a bead of hot glue in there and then push it home. So you can build stops in there too to make it a little better. So that's your fuselage tube, and you can make a bunch of them, and you can make them any size you want. So you can take paper and obviously roll it this way to get a longer fuselage. I, I make them bigger and bigger all the time, and it's, it's good fun. Okay, so that's my tube. And then to make the fins, I take cardboard, and again, I'm trying to do this quickly. So you can have fun with this, and there's actually you know, different shapes that come into play. In fact, to go quickly here, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, fold this. And this is just cardboard I saved from the back of um, uh, notepads. Put this up. Okay, so I'll do three fins, and again, this is super fast. I actually like to finish these up with some uh, sanding afterwards, but I'll create uh, four fins, so I'll have an extra fin. And let's see, I'm going to make them a little bit like that. And I think this is interesting just because you can do it so quickly and it's guaranteed to be fun. Always fun, 100% of the time. Okay, then these you glue to the tube. Now what I do with these is I, I hold them up to the door jam and I mark out three equidistant spaces. I'm gonna do these by eye, all right? And um, so I'll use hot glue. I'll do, and what I like to do, actually a bead of craft glue and hot glue are kind of nice, but glue is heavy, so glue is not so good, so really, a good way to do this is to put a bead of hot glue in. Oops, I got it. And if you weren't rushed, you would sand these leading edges especially. You'd sand them so they're smoother. And once in a while, if people don't do a good job with the fins, they will, they will um, break off. So I'll glue this. I would have guidelines on here to, to hold these in place. And I can glue that. I'm going to put a bead of hot glue on here. Hot glue is really heavy. Okay, so I'm just going to do that for now. Although, okay. Uh, well, let me put a bead on the other side here, real quick. Okay, so I put three fins on. And then I make a nose cone. And to do that, I use foam like this. And I can, I can do this by hand, I can do it with a, a rasp like this, and you can, if you want to, carefully chuck, chuck it up to a drill, you can make a little lathe, but you can cut your foam to the basic form that you want, and foam is messy, so work over a garbage can, so I'm not gonna do the rasp in here, but you can just take a rasp and, and form it into a, the shape of a um, nose cone, whatever you like, got a bunch of them here, and then you glue that, or not glue, you'll attach that to the top part of the, 
of the rocket ship like this. And then you have a recovery system, which looks like this. You take, you take string of different, whatever yarn, I've had used, whatever is close, and uh, um, you adhere that to the inside of the fuselage and then to the bottom of your nose cone. You put some plastic in there or something like that. And then finally, you cut out a guide tube. So I'm going to take a soda straw, cut the soda straw, and a little bead of hot glue. Make sure it sits between the fins. So, um, let's see. <laughs> or somewhere, so it has to fit between the fins. Otherwise, you'll be really embarrassed at the launch because it won't fly. And I'll put a little bead of hot glue here. This doesn't have to be very strong. And that, that, that. Then you have to buy a rocket. Uh, we won't talk about making um, solid fuels now. You can do it. Uh, it's, it's hard, and I've never had success with it. Now, if you want to get fancy, there's an ejection charge from this. Um, if you put a stop in here, you can re pull out the engine and reuse it. What I found to be a lot easier and faster is just to glue it in, and you can carve it out with a knife and pop it out again. Um, and that's how you make a rocket ship in, like, really fast. Hope you enjoy it. Build these wonderful things. Touch the clouds with them. Uh, go big and bold. Paint them. Remember that spray paint will dissolve foam if it's not a foam-safe adhesive. But you can cover these, like, with a, a, uh, a thinned-out PVA glue or hand-paint them or something like that. A lot of fun. Enjoy.